Hi guys, welcome to my channel. This is Max. I'm a massage therapist and an osteopath here in Barcelona. Today we're going to work on a back line. You see this kind of work before, but the, the input we're going to try today is a fast uh, kind of input that help the muscle after a workout or uh, before a workout or when you want to uh, to get ready for a competition. We're going to start working on the planter. The planter need uh, a lot of opening because uh, it's always uh, crashing between the the gravity and uh, and the floor. So we need uh, uh, some release of that uh, different layer of muscle that are under the the spring of the planter. So from there we are working uh, on the on the calf. And uh, one technique I use, especially for the tibialis posteriors, is to move uh, the, um, the joint up and down so that you can really reach the tibialis posteriors. Now I'm uh, trying to, um, you can see from the speed that that can be a really, uh, what in Spanish is called descarga, a, a massage that uh, uh, smash all the muscle and make the muscle all relax uh, because of the strong input and fast input you you send i try to mix both the the speed and the, um, the deepness so that uh, you can reach all the different fibers so you can reach the the fast twitch fiber the low twitch fiber you can reach uh, the fascia and so on now, I, um, I believe uh, that uh, the work on the foot is super important. I'm an expert on working the, the feet. And uh, I really like uh, the opening and I really like the use uh, of the, uh, the fist. But this technique that I just did is the one that my client loves the most. It's when you open up, when you try to, um, to create space in the adhesion, and then from there you can go wherever you want. You can go in the direction of the, um, of the, of the toes or even work uh, the, the calf all the way up. Um, remember, the calf are really sensitive. Some people uh, cannot handle the kind of work I'm doing right now. So when you work on the calf, really pay attention to the, ten the intensity and really pay attention on the kind of work you're doing. Like uh, right now, this technique with the movement of the joint, it's, uh, it's great for, um, for going into the soil. The soil that you probably work better in 90 degrees, but you can still uh, reaching the really depth of the soil, like I'm doing right now. So you see I'm moving, uh, I'm moving the joint, the movement of the joint. You want to, uh, now I'm stretching the, um, the Achilles tendon, that can be really helpful for who for people that has um, plantar fasciitis, and you can see some uh, extra movement uh, that help uh, releasing the tibialis anterior. So, in, in this position, you can actually work the lower limb in any position possible. You can see how fast I'm going, and that is great. Give great input to to smash the muscle and to and to release all the tension. Then uh, I'm gonna start some work on the on the hamstring. Hamstring that uh, if you have a, I found that if you have a tight uh, uh, calf, most of the time you even have a tight hamstring. So from um, from the calf, I'm moving up uh, and um, I'm trying to find a nice angle to give you the best shot. And um, I'm using share butter. Share butter allow me to to be able to get deep into the tissue without having too much sliding on top of it. Most people that work on myofascial release, roll thing, and so on, they have uh, they don't use anything. I found that sometimes on the skin can be pretty rough, especially on certain girls that uh, they don't have uh, they don't want to have um, any uh, red redness after the massage and um, the shea butter is a good option now I'm working on that um, hamstring I'm working in the middle of the septa I'm working on the semitendinosa semimembranosa and on the bicep femoris I like this uh, this technique it's pretty comfortable for the client and for me it's uh, it's not that deep but it's uh, it's um, it's like a 
a nice hug that hug all the muscle and it's squeezing and releasing squeezing and releasing all the way into the glutes as you can see I'm, um, I'm putting a lot of attention in details and, um, and then from there I move uh, to a bigger tool the bigger tool that is the, the elbow elbow that can um, can definitely feel really good watch out when you go on the semimembrinosus and tendinosus because the elbow can can give a lot of pain and then it you see when i use this technique um i found that it's really helpful for cellulite people with cellulite they need this kind of uh, opening the kind of breaking of adhesion and allow the um, the fat to move around and then do some exercise you can just uh, uh, receive a massage and think that that is gonna uh, get rid of a cellulite. What I'm doing right now, I'm using the knee and the flexion of the knee to uh, working the front of, uh, of the vastus. Uh, so I'm working the quad. You can work the quad from that position too. And then I'm doing the opposite. I'm going to and stretch to release the hamstring. So there is a lot of it you can do, um, even if you are and the client is uh, facing down. Then you can move on the side. You're working on the internal, and what you're gonna do is kind of uh, adduct the um, the legs a little bit. Then some more work. I like to to get comfortable. Uh, remember, as I said, this position can be really. Uh, this, the elbow on the gracilis, for example, that is a muscle that is always tense. Is uh, it's really got to watch out what you're doing when uh, when you're going there. And then uh, I go all the way into the glutes, glutes that uh, I found were really tight, and we need to give some good work on it. The cause of the tightness can be the, um, the fact that the client has uh, some hyperaldosis or can be even some pronation in the foot. But because I haven't found any pronation in the foot, I think the, the real cause is actually the, the hyperaldosis that, that can create a really painful glute medius and a painful piriformis muscle. And that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to release uh, this muscle with um, a technique that is a dynamic technique while I'm moving the joint. That allowed me to create kind of a, an impulse that go directly to the brain and make the brain in a state of relaxation. And uh, from there I move to the glute max and uh, I palpate every part of the glutes because uh, you, you don't want to forget any muscle. There are like six deep rotators and uh, you need to work all of them because sometimes even the, the little gemelli inferior, gemelli superiors can be tight and that can be the cause of uh, a lot of trouble. So uh, palpating uh, the TFL, the, um, the glute medius, uh, and, uh, and now we know some more specific work on, uh, on a glute medius. So guys, if you like my work, please uh, follow me on the on the channel or if you really want to help out uh, and uh, be a patron you can follow me on deep tissue lovers there is the link uh, down below I show a video in uh, ASMR so I don't really speak in this video and uh, they are like the old style video I used to post here so you will probably enjoy so guys thank you very much and uh, subscribe bye